Hey you guys, it's Max with Max Tech. A few months ago when the brand new S10 Plus and S10 devices were launched, we did a test trying to hack this phone's ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And in that video, we were not successful in doing so, but Samsung has also made some changes with their software that has made the scanner better. My biggest question is, has Samsung reduced the security in order to make the overall experience better? So we're back at it again to test out the S10 Plus ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. And right here, I have a fingerprint copy that is made with just Elmer's glue. This is actually very easy to do. All you need is a hot glue gun, some Elmer's glue, a little bit of cold water. You make a fingerprint, fill it in, and then you have a copy. Of course, it's not going to be that simple to go and copy somebody's fingerprint, but if somebody is determined, they definitely will be able to pull this off. And it did work for the OnePlus 6T. Now, once you have it dried, you actually just peel up and remove your copy. There you go. In this S10 Plus, Vadim actually registered his fingers. He has multiple registered, just like a lot of our viewers and commenters have mentioned, just like I had, and same thing with Lou from Unbox Therapy. And just to show you guys, you can see that my fingerprints do not work on this phone. Vadim, come and show us that your fingerprint is registered. Show it working here. There you go. <laughs> this is not working? There, there you go. go. It's just. Samsung's fingerprint Try scanner. Try it again. There we yeah, go. It it's working. And mine do not work here. My thumb is doing nothing. Let's grab our copy. We have the moment of truth here. Okay. Is he even reading it? No match. What is this? Bixby? Come on, Bixby. Hey, we got into the, we got into it. <laughs> it uh, invoked Bixby from our thumbprint. Let's try that again. Remember, in the past, this did not work at all. It would not let us in no matter what we did. Okay. It's not even reading it. There we go. You guys saw that right there. Wow. That is working just as reliably as your regular fingerprint, which isn't each time, but it's actually <laughs> it's actually working each time right. That got me in. Now let's try my thumbprint. It's not working. And try our copy once again. The biggest question that I have now is, am I able to log in because we have multiple fingerprints registered in order to get it working faster and more reliably, or because of the changes that Samsung has made with their software updates? So let's log in with our fake fingerprint here. Okay. Let's go into the settings. I'm gonna remove the extra fingerprints. Okay, let's delete all of these. Vadim's gonna add in his fingerprint once again. So you guys know we have zero fingerprints registered other than yeah. his here. Let's see what happens. Okay. It's not working. I was not expecting that. Honestly, I am very shocked and surprised. I wasn't expecting that. And just to show you guys that there's no shenanigans going on, we just have one fingerprint in, the one Vadim added. Let's go ahead and close it up here. You guys can see that all in one shot. Woo. Our one shot is failing. <laughs> there we go we got in. So as you see, it still takes multiple attempts. You can't just get in on the first time every time, like if you have multiple fingerprints, but you can get in. As you guys can see, with just one fingerprint added, I'm still getting in. Now pretty much every time, as long as I remember the proper position, it's kind of getting in every single time. Bam, and just to prove it to you guys, look, I don't have my fingerprint is not registered. We'll grab this guy again. We are in. And then if we go to biometrics, we just have one fingerprint added into there. 
All right guys, so you saw it for yourself two months after the release of the S10 and S10 Plus where we weren't able to hack it with all these software updates. Now we are able to hack it. Samsung did lower the security or how accurate it has to be in order to get in to improve the usability of this phone. And I know a ton of you guys out there, including myself, add multiple fingerprints to get it to be more reliable and more consistent, which does help. But as you saw, once you do that, that actually also reduces the security. For the average person, it probably doesn't matter at all. But if you're somebody who really cares about their security, if you have important files on here, if you're an executive, if you need to make sure it's secure, don't put in multiple fingerprints and maybe, you know, have a different password now if you have the latest software or don't use a fingerprint scanner if it matters a ton. Um, if you just have one fingerprint, it's a lot more secure, but it could still be hacked. Now, if you guys haven't seen it yet, we also tested out the brand new OnePlus 7 Pro's optical fingerprint scanner and the results there were very, very interesting. If you want to check out that video, you guys can click it right over here. Make sure to click that circle above to subscribe and enable notifications to see more videos like this one. This has been Max with Max Tech and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.